Hi, in this video we're going to be looking at straight line graphs. So we're being asked to work out the equation of a line that passes through these two points. So we're just going to go ahead and draw a brief sketch of this. And I do suggest always with these kind of questions that you just draw a little sketch and that gives you some idea of what's actually going on here. So the first thing I know is that if it's passing through these two points, then it's a positive gradient. In other words, it's a bit like a tick, isn't it? It kind of goes that way, so it's a positive gradient. The other thing I know is that it crosses through this point on the y-axis. So the general form of that is y equals mx plus c. Okay, and that's really important. I know in different, uh, different kind of textbooks you'll see it written in slightly different ways, but essentially it means exactly the same thing, that this value of m here is the gradient. So in other words, it's how steep the line is. It's whether it's like that, or it's fairly shallow, or it goes up at uh, a fairly steep angle. This value here, c, is what they call the y-intercept, so where it crosses the y-axis. It's actually this bit here. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is going to work out the value of the gradient. Now, the easiest way of doing that is difference in y divided by difference in x. Okay, so what we're going to do is if we have a look at this, you'll see here we've got two coordinates. Well, the y values are 7 and 5, so therefore the difference in the y values is going to be 7 minus 5, which equals 2, and the difference in the x values is 2 minus 1, 2 minus 1, which equals 1. So in other words, the gradient of this particular line is the value of 2. So I can kind of start to write this out now as y equals 2x plus c. Now the only thing I've got left to find out is this value of c. In other words, this intercept where it actually crosses. Well, what we do to that is we use these values one of the sets of values, and we just simply plug it into this equation. So let's use the first one, and I've got 5 equals 2, x is 1, plus c, and if I work that out, it means that I've got 5 equals 2 plus c, so therefore c equals 3. So I've now got the component bits that I can put together and write out the full equation. I've got the value of c, the value of the gradient, and I can simply write y equals 2x plus 3, and that will be the answer to this particular question. I hope that's been okay for you, and the rest of this playlist, they're going to get a little bit more tricky than that, a bit more challenging, and uh, please do add a comment below. I'll always come back to you. I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.